Do I have to play the annoying browser game myself? Cannot the computer do that for me? The good news is, yes it can. Welcome back to a new tutorial. This time we will create a Java program that can play different browser games for us. And not only that, in the end I show you how the software reaches the first place in an online high score. Ok, let's start in Eclipse. I extended the class with thread and create a new rectangle. Then I create a constructor with the required variables. X and Y for the start position and high and width for the size of the rectangle. First we have to tell the software in which part of the screen it should be active. For that is the rectangle. For many parts of the software we will use the Java Robot class. If you want to know more about the Java Robot class, I have already made a video about the basics of the Java Robot class. Check the link in the video and in the description. Now we determine which area of the screen we need. I enter the coordinates for X and Y. The start position is 300 and 350. I have already checked the size before. The width is 1000 and the height is 600. So we have all four coordinates and can play this with a delay of 1.5 seconds. We enter the coordinates into our main function. I will show you now how we can use the rectangle to create a screenshot from the screen. Here we have the screenshot in the specific size. This is now the workspace for our software. Next we create a raster grid so that the software can read the image.
we need a data buffer. A data buffer int. and an integer array to save the grid of the image. Then we work through the image line by line, first in the for loop for the white x. Then the same thing in a for loop for the height y. We jump 30 pixels each time. Finally, every single error is checked to see if it meets the conditions. It is checked if a certain color occurs at the position. If that is the case, the mouse is moved to that position and the left button is clicked and released. Instead of a while true, that would be an endless loop, let's say that the loop ends after a certain number of seconds. To check the colors, we need the hash code of the colors. I have created a screenshot of the game and loaded it into GIMP. Here I can measure the colors of all parts of the mole. Then I remember the HTML notation and enter this in the HTML color picker in the browser. With it I get the colors. I create a helper class to get the color hash code. There are several ways to get the hash code, this is just one. I create integer variables a color object and enter my values there. Now I can print the hash code for the first value. We have to do that for every single brown tone. I have already calculated the values and just copy them in here. We start the code and see how it works. Very well, now it's much faster. On the right side you can see that you could add some more colors to the code. But it has been enough for over 1000 points. Oh, oh, 
the cursor still tries to find the brown on the screen. I forgot to change the while loop. It helps to refresh the browser, since the brown is gone. Here in the while loop I have to add that as well. You can also transfer the whole thing to other browser games. For example I have a bubble shooter here. What is different here is that I have another rectangle which measures the color of the ball at the indicated position. If RGB is the same color, then the software searches for the color in the upper rows and shoots the ball in the direction. I let it run for 20 seconds. Here you can play a bit with and improve the software. The last thing I wanted to show you is another Wacom mole and how we get an entry into an online high score. The first option with the image recognition can sometimes be a bit slow. If we know exactly where the holes are, we can let the mouse jump right there. The code for it is even much shorter. We only need the X and Y positions for all 18 holes on the screen. I am creating a new class. And we need a new robot again. This time I directly putting the end time in the while loop, so that it does not become endless. I let that run for 3 minutes. We need two arrays for the positions. I have already written down the values for my screen size. Now the software jumps in a loop to each of the 18 holes and presses the mouse button. You can try to optimize it all. For example with the double click or with longer or shorter breaks between the hits. I start the program and it starts to hit. That's how it works now for about 3 minutes. I'm making the video a bit faster so we do not have to wait. And we have a new high score. Gaspar Coding holds a top score with 234 points. I have no idea how the hell the other user Juaf could reach 211 points. Okay, but you know what you have to do now. The link is in the description. If you liked what you saw, please leave me a like on this video. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.